pipe organ is an instrument, and it is a machine made of many parts that work together. When each part does its job, we hear sounds like this. Let's learn just a little bit about the parts and how they work together to make sound. It all starts with forced air called wind. Every pipe organ has a wind system. There are different ways to get this wind going. Water, bellows, motors. In the pipe organ you see here, the wind is generated from a motor and stored in a wind chest. All that air sits in there, waiting to be let out of the pipes. That's where the keys come in. Once an organist presses a key, it opens up air under a certain pipe, and the pressurized air pushes through the pipe to make a sound. Pressing two keys opens up two pipes, and we hear two notes. Foot pedals can activate pipes, too. Let's talk a little more about pipes. The greater the length of the pipe, the lower its resulting pitch will be. This is the lowest sounding pipe on the organ. Pipes are put into different groups called ranks. Organists can pull out these stops, which control those ranks or those different sets of pipes. Different stops create different timbres or tone colors. Pulling out this stop creates this sound. Here's another one to contrast. And here's what happens when the organist pulls out all the stops. Organists have so many choices when it comes to sound. As you listen to just a little more music from the pipe organ, think about all those parts working together.